Hey. Um, so I know that last week's video, it had the logo in front of my face. I do want to apologize for that. I'm trying like some new software. So I wanted to do kind of like a try before I buy thing. Um, and I actually really liked it. So hoping that, um, this week you shouldn't have any of that. Um, and I feel like there was something else I was going to say. Um, uh, well, I guess like this is kind of the new recording setup. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to always be here, but like I get really good light from these windows. Um, and I'm hoping that this is in focus. Uh, I'm using my Canon again. So bear with me if things aren't like perfect. I'm still like learning how to use this camera as a recording device. Normally I just snapped pictures with it. But this week I wanted to talk about um, essential baby gear because um, there's a couple people that I know are expecting and um, I do see this question asked a lot, a lot uh, what should I get for my registry, um, what should I, well what should I register for, you know, what should I ask people to get me. Um, and for first time moms there's literally so much crap in the department stores and baby stuff is so expensive and it's not like you just have this stuff lying around from I don't know when your parents had you um some parents might but um a lot of times it's kind of like expired or super old and dated and obviously you like want something new so I came up with a list of things that um first time parents should definitely get uh so I might be looking down a little bit at my list but this is kind of like a bare essentials list. I feel like with our first, we definitely bought way too much and didn't use a lot of it. And it kind of stunk because people like spent money on stuff that would, they could have, like we could have used for diapers or something else. Like it was, it's kind of weird. And I feel like there's so much stuff and it's really expensive. And when you kind of make your registry and put, um, stuff on your registry people like almost don't get it because it's like so expensive which really stinks sorry and um yeah so let's just jump right into the video um my first must-have is a crib so this can be any kind of crib excuse me it can be like the hundred dollar crib or like the twelve hundred dollar crib really doesn't matter every crib um is certified by this like company I can't remember what it's called but they're all like um approved if you buy one from Walmart or from bye bye baby it's all the same crib it really doesn't matter where you buy it from um I suggest getting one without the little uh what's it called changing table on it they once they're big enough they can really like use that to kind of climb out um it's also like really big and bulky you really just need like a general crib the child does not care if it like looks like something caesar slept in um another thing is is a dresser so like the matching dresser or some type of dresser with a top on it so that you can make that as your changing table those little like changing tables are complete BS and super super expensive and you don't need them. Um, the dresser will last you through forever essentially because as they grow up they'll still need a dresser and there it is. Um, or like what we did we transferred um, our oldest into a new dresser and then the baby got the um, baby dresser. And it's nice because then you can buy the little um, changing pad and put it right on top of the dresser and have like little bins for diapers and wipes. Um, so a crib, mattress, dresser. Um, I would go a little expensive with the mattress. Um, I kind of skimped on that and the mattress only lasted till my son was like a year and then I noticed it like wasn't as comfortable. So I would kind of spend a little bit more money on the mattress, kind of get something that's firmer um, and sheets three to four sets I would say uh, because they won't need as many sets when they're a newborn but once they get older and like peeing through di uh, diapers and stuff um, you'll want like at least three or four sets of sheets uh, but that's kind of it in the crib department 
I mean, you can get the bedding and crap, but you really don't need it. It's super, super overpriced. Um, you can make a lot of stuff or just get like a pretty blanket or a quilt and that can kind of dress things up. The sheets nowadays are like actually really cute and attractive so you can really find something that would like go with your crib. Another major is a car seat. This is the same for the crib. Doesn't matter where you buy the car seat, they're all approved by the same people. And it doesn't matter if you get the like the $200 one or the $1200 one. They're all approved, they're all safe. Um, some people think that if you spend more money on a car seat it's going to be more safe. No, it might be well made, like so it might be a little bit more comfortable for them, but it's not going to be any more safe than what, because they're all approved, they all have to go through the crash testing, and it's not like they crash test the ones that are more expensive, um, like more, like the, no. Uh, so I would really suggest like a good brand, the Great Go brand, the Cheat Go brand, those are kind of the, both of the two that we really liked. Um, again, it really doesn't matter. Preference is, it's kind of just your preference. A big thing to keep in mind with the car seat is with the baby seat, um, it's nice to have two bases if you have two cars, like you and your husband, or, um, it's also nice uh, to get the actual big converter seat to just like already have that so then you don't have to buy another seat when they get out when they grow out of the infant seat um, so you know that's kind of like where your price point is type thing um, I'm trying to think I feel like there was something else I wanted to say about the car seats uh, eh, I don't remember but the car seats very essential you know, you got to bring it to you, with you to the hospital. The baby, you know, lives in it for a little while, essentially. Um, the expiration dates, ugh, that's kind of like a weird thing. Um, I've definitely talked to people who've been like, yes, the expiration date is a thing. And I've also talked to other people who they're like, no, it's not. What I, this is what I follow. If the car seat was left in the car without the child, like when the child outgrew it and then say you have another baby and but you look at the sticker and it's expired. If the car seat's been left in the car, like the hot car baking for a couple months, years, get a new one. The plastic has definitely um, like broken down. But if it's been in a closet for a year or two um, and it doesn't look cracked or like warped in any way, you're fine. Also those straps, if the straps aren't if the straps aren't um, like easy to use, if they've kind of gotten hard and nasty, you need a new car seat. Okay, Grant, I, I can't, you can't be there, honey. Stop. I need to do this video. I understand you can stand right here, but you can't be in front of it. Um, yeah, so those are like two things that I looked at. Um, if everything's fine, I wouldn't get another car seat baby's fine. If it's been in an accident, yes, you need a new car seat. Um, another thing that's essential is clothes. Um, I would only buy or register for sizes zero to three months newborn. They outgrow it so fast. Um, if you have the baby and they end up not being able to fit into zero to three, then you should, you could buy some newborn, but I would not buy any newborn. Zero to three and then three to six months is only the sizes that you should be like registering for. Um, I really wouldn't register for newborn. Blankets um, are a really big thing, like the receiving blankets. Um, you definitely want to have a couple of those. They're really good for as like burp cloths. You don't need an actual burp cloth, but if you have a blanket, it's a great burp cloth. I always had a couple blankets because it was nice to kind of just like, they just drool and just everything's just coming out of everywhere. So it's just nice to have a lot of blankets. Um, the boppy pillow, which is good for nursing and bottle feeding. Um, I think my camera's about to die, so, uh, bobby pill. Yes, you need one of those. Or I would actually get two. I always got one for upstairs in the bed when I was, like, nursing at night or feeding at night. And then one for downstairs, just so that I didn't have to, like, interchange them. I don't know. It worked. Um, let's see. Sound machine. Definitely plug-in sound machine and portable sound machine. You need both of them. Definitely get those. Also, 
So this is a weird one. The rock and play. So everybody always asks, like, what swing should I get? Like, what plaque and play? What rock and play? Like, so I don't really feel like you need a swing. If you have a rock and play, you don't really need the swing. If you get a swing, you don't really need the rock and play. But I just didn't. Like, my kids didn't really like the swing, but I didn't really like the swing because then they only learn to fall asleep when it's swinging. And that's where you start having, like, the issues with the sleeping. Is because they're only sleeping in their swing. So I just, like, I would say don't get the swing. And either get a rock and play or a pack and play. Um, both of those, you can kind of, like, move them around, you know, so when baby sleeping during the day you could like put the baby in the rock and play or the pack and play and that can kind of like move around with what you're doing during the day. Um, another big thing is a breast pump which you can get through your insurance. Um, I would definitely get one even if you're planning to like exclusively breastfeed. I would still get a pump and even if you're um, not planning to breastfeed I would still get a pump because you never know you could totally change your mind. Um, bottles. Those are also essential. Even if you're planning to exclusively breastfeed, you should still get some bottles. Just like one pack. You don't need like 17. But if you are planning to use bottles, I would definitely get a couple packs. Um, okay, sorry. Oh, that was just another list. Um, so this section, so like strollers, diaper genies, and monitors. I, I put those in like a question mark section because like you do need a stroller if you're gonna be like running around outside. You do. Um, I would definitely try and get a stroller that if you think you're gonna have more kids, I would get something that could go into a double. Um, just because you don't wanna be like trying to buy 12 different things. A diaper genie, I used mine and still use it, but I feel like you can get these used like for way cheaper because I, like, I feel like normally they're like $80 and it's a ridiculous amount of money and I always like I got mine at used baby stores for like 12 bucks or something um so I I don't know I mean you can put it on your registry but it's not like a dire need a monitor I really don't think that you need those video ones Grant honey not in front um I feel like they're kind of like a waste in my opinion because they're so expensive and they like create this unwanted anxiety Honey, I need you to stop, okay? I'm trying to film this. I'm almost done, and then I will come into the other room, okay? Just right there. I feel like they're a waste of money, and they also cause this, like, weird anxiety of, like, oh, my God, she's, like, moving in her crib. I should go in, like, because you can see what they're doing. Um, I feel like the, the best monitor is the ones where you can just hear. Um, seeing almost is, like, too much, but it's really up to you. I mean whatever like if people are like put whatever you want in your registry then put whatever you want like this is just like my opinions I don't think that they're bad I just think like they're just kind of pointless not gonna lie um let's see I think that that's it um I really registering let's see like where I register uh, Target's a really good place to register bye bye babies a really good place they don't have babies R us anymore so you really can't register there um, Walmart's nice too, but they are kind of like limited in their baby stuff, I feel like sometimes. Um, but, you know, there's there's definitely like a lot of nice places. It is kind of nice. If you are planning to um, cloth diaper, there are registries on the cloth diaper web websites. I think Bum Genius, that's the cloth diaper that we use, um, has like a registry there if you're like interested. Um, I was thinking of doing a whole cloth diaper video because we were cloth diapering for a while. Um, with our second, we didn't cloth diaper, um, and it was mainly because of how much laundry I was already doing. But anyways, uh, so let me know if you're interested in uh, seeing that and comment down below. But thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next.